Welcome back to the channel, I'm Master of the Pokemon Trainer. So because I did a video explaining the Pokemon known as Slowpoke and its evolutions, I figured I'd make a video explaining the controversial Pokemon known as Porygon and its evolutions, and we'll get to the reasons why Porygon is a very controversial Pokemon. Now for those of you who don't know, Porygon is essentially a normal type artificial Pokemon that's based on a origami crane made with computer coding. Now the reason why Porygon is an artificial Pokemon is because it's completely made out of computer code. In fact, it was made 20 years ago in a lab on Cinnabar Island before the events of Red, Blue, and Yellow. And because of its man-made origins, it doesn't need to breathe or eat. However, it can still accept food, and it has the ability to convert its body into digital data traveling through cyberspace. Now in the Gen 1 games, Porygon didn't have an evolution. However, when Gold, Silver, and Crystal released, it wound up gaining a new evolution called Porygon 2. And in order to evolve Porygon into Porygon 2, you have to trade Porygon holding an upgrade, which is an item that was made by the Sylph Company. Now, similar to its previous evolution, Porygon 2 is based on an origami, made with more advanced 3D graphics, and its head looks more like a drinking bird toy. Now thanks to its upgrade, it can now work in space, however, its inability to fly limits its ability, but it can survive in the very vacuum of space. It's also capable of learning new behaviors on its own, including information it doesn't even know, and as a result, it can even perform actions that were not in its original programming. Now when the Gen 4 games came out, Porygon 2 wanted up gaining a new evolution called Porygon Z. And Porygon 2 winds up evolving into Porygon Z by having it hold a dubious disc and being traded. Which pretty much means that Porygon is the only Pokemon that evolves by trading twice. Now the initial idea for Porygon Z was for it to have an increase in its abilities as well as being able to travel through different alien dimensions. However, the Pokemon wound up being difficult to work with due to its erratic behavior as well as twitchy movements. And this could be attributed to the faulty programming that's found in the dubious disk. In fact, Porygon Z may be based on a program that's being infected by a computer virus, or even based on software that's being patched by a user to use all of its features. However, it winds up resulting in the software being buggy. Now, Porygon 2 and Porygon Z are the only two Pokemon that have never made an appearance in any forms of the anime, while its pre-evolution Porygon wound up making one appearance in the episode of the anime, and after that, it never appeared in the anime ever again. And the main reason is the episode being the most infamous episode in all of the Pokemon anime. So to summarize the episode, Ash and his friends wound up being transported into a computer, and as a result, they wound up meeting the Pokemon known as Porygon. However, Team Rocket also wound up inside the computer as well, and they were causing havoc inside the computer. And eventually in the ensuing battle, Pikachu wound up shooting a bolt of electricity at a missile fired by Team Rocket. And as a result of the explosion, it wound up flashing rapid red and blue colors. And it resulted in 700 people suffering through epileptic seizures. And because of that, the episode was never aired outside Japan. In fact, it was never aired ever again. And another consequence of that incident, the Pokemon Porygon and its evolutions were never shown in the anime ever again. Except for a few small cameos. Now the one question a lot of fans have is, why did the Sylph Company create Porygon and have it constantly upgraded? Well there really isn't that much information about why they created Porygon or what purpose does Porygon serve, but there could be some clues as to what Porygon's purpose is. Now another YouTuber by the name of Burkeeper Toby actually came up with an excellent idea as to what Porygon's purpose might be in his Ultra Beast Theory video. And the idea is that the Sylph Company as well as the Devon Corporation may have been upgrading Porygon as a way to defend the world from alien attacks as well as upgrading it again with the dubious disc to try and defend the earth from threats that come from different dimensions such as the ultra beasts. There's also another possibility that after the failure of Porygon Z, another organization may have been inspired by the Sylph Company to create a defense mechanism against ultra beasts. And instead of creating another Porygon, they may have been inspired by another mythical legendary Pokemon, that being the god of Pokemon known as Arceus. And perhaps with a few experiments, they eventually created the Pokemon known as Type Null, with an ability similar to Arceus when it Evolves. And perhaps it also used Eevee as a genetic template in its design, mainly because of Eevee's ability to evolve into different types of Pokemon. And perhaps with its DNA, the Aether Foundation may have been able to create an ability similar to Arceus. And so to basically summarize the theory, Porygon was constantly upgraded to combat threats from not just space, but different dimensions. However, it resulted in failure with Porygon Z. So another organization, that being the Aether Foundation, may have created Type Null inspired by Arceus, as well as the Pokemon known as Eevee. And unlike the Sylph Company, the Aether Foundation actually succeeded in their goals of creating a Pokemon that can defend against the Earth. In fact, they even made three of them, until Gladion stole one of them to stop his crazy mother. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and share this video. If you dislike this video, please leave a dislike. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Take care.